As you maybe have already seen, there are some amazing outfits in Hogwarts Legacy. Some are easy to get, some a bit trickier. We want to highlight some of the best ones in the game in this video, including the Relic House uniform that shines when you cast a spell. I really like this assassin style robe and there are way, way more. So of course, a like on the video if you enjoy the content here would really help us out. Subscribe for way more Hogwarts Legacy content like this and let's go. During my recent stream and in comments on the recent videos, I saw a lot of people curious about the night outfit. Well, if you already started playing, you know that it's actually pretty easy to get. From defeating 10 spiders, you get the armor, and defeating 20 extra, you get the helmet. Now you can go to the spider lairs on the map to easily complete this, although there's an early main mission called Jackdaw's Rest, which will let you kill plenty of spiders, so then the armor will be yours as well. But yeah, you find many amazing unique cosmetics from these challenges. I love the pumpkin mask from completing a lot of dueling feats in combat. I think it looks great with the knight armor as well. If you get 25 field guide pages in Hogsmeade by of course using Ekio for the flying papers and checking every point of interest with Revelio, you get this Sunko's chief prankster coat, which I really dig. And there are some awesome masks that you can get from killing special infamous enemies with the large health bar. Really cool design. Like there are a ton of awesome cosmetics in this challenge menu, you want to eventually do these challenges anyways, so then you will also unlock these cosmetics, although for some you really have to look. Namely for this amazing Quidditch outfit that you might remember from a pre-launch video we did. It's in the game, you get it by landing on these platforms that you find all over the world. We will leave a link to an article on where to find all these landing platforms, like there's for example one over here, so... Go there, complete them all, and this amazing Quidditch outfit is yours. One of my favorite outfits in the game. And I think it's important to real quick talk about the outfit system, because all these rewards from these challenges that you can claim in the menu, and other appearances you, for example, get from side quests, like this cool mermaid mask is a reward from this quest over here on the map you can do very early on. Close by, you find the Carded Away mission, which gives you this very unique goblin helmet, or if you want something more adorable or silly, you can get this Niveller mask by completing the A Thief in the Night Side quest, which a bit further into the world, and I also think you need to progress the story quite a bit before you can do this. So all these side mission appearances and the rewards from the challenges that you can claim in the menu are called collections, and can only be shown when you select a change appearance in the inventory menu. So these are unique items, but if you then scroll down, we see other, and you get items like this from random loot that you find in chests, from enemies, or can buy at Hogsmeade. So these designs are based on the gear drops you find that do have stats, so the moment you loot them, you also have the look unlocked in this transmog sort of menu, so then you can just sell the item and still rock the look from that gear piece, because it's saved forever. Now let's look at more awesome looks, like this Ashwinder outfit, of course based on the classy Dark Wizards. It has this sort of scarf on the waist that moves when you walk around, really cool. And you can pair it with the Thief's coat, also based on these enemies, only then the scarf is gone sadly. I still think it's a really cool look. So you get these from completing the two arenas in the open world. You get the Thief's Coat from the arena over here on the map. And the Ashwinder outfit can be earned from the arena over here. They are quite challenging. Stack up on potions before you go in. Or come back later when you are stronger. Just know that there are some cool rewards behind these. Now Joyce, you got some cool outfits that can be found in Hogwarts, right? Yes, that's right. You already mentioned this in the intro. We've got this assassin style attire. Including a matching cape. Looks absolutely amazing. Including some noteworthy details like the brooch on the collar and the way the cape moves through the wind as you walk outside, it makes it a very nice cosmetic reward to grab. You get this by playing the Hall of Herodiana side quest of Ravenclaw student Sophronia Franklin, who you will find near the Charms Classroom Flu Flame over here on the map. To activate this quest, you need to have learned the Depulso spell, which is a reward from the first school assignment from Professor Sharp, which you get after visiting the map chamber for the first time. Buy or craft the necessary potions, use them, and he will teach you this powerful spell. So if we then go back to the Herodiana quest after talking with Sophronia, she will send you over to a secret location in Hogwarts Castle, which opens up by using the Pulso. Here you will find three puzzles that you need to solve in order to gather all the pieces of Herodiana's attire. They start out pretty straightforward, like using the Depulso spell to push these blocks towards the wall so you can make your way through the hall, and then you find the first outfit piece in a chest. 
The second puzzle is a bit trickier using both Akio and the Polso to make sure you can cross to get to the second outfit piece and the third one might look very intimidating but it's actually quite easy once you know what to do. In each puzzle area there is a floating twirling cube. Using your basic spell attack on the cube resets the puzzle so the blocks you are able to move return to their starting position. So if you get stuck at any time during a puzzle you can just shoot the cube and start over. And for the final puzzle this mechanic is actually needed to solve it. Eventually you will reach the end of the hall and get the final piece of this really great assassin attire that I especially love to rock with the hood on. But one of the best cosmetic rewards in my opinion is this Relic House Uniform cosmetic. It looks very majestic and it even shines while casting spells so I've used this a lot already and will wear it way more during the rest of my playthrough. The design varies per house of course, Gryffindor is in dark red with a giant lion on the back, Hufflepuff got this golden glowing badger as we see in footage from Tech back TV, which looks really fancy by the way. The uniform from Slytherin, which footage you see from Lunar Gaming, looks very stunning and kind of underwater themed with the snake on top. And finally Ravenclaw has a dark blue color with their eagle showing off. So these house uniforms are locked behind the Dedalian Key side quest we briefly mentioned in a previous video, but you can of course only get the one from your own house per character. To activate this quest you have to find Nellie Augspire in the Transfiguration Courtyard of Hogwarts Castle over over here on the map. She will tell you the location of the first key so simply follow the quest marker and you will eventually see a key flying and moving around almost like a golden snitch. When getting closer it will fly away so try to follow it as it will lead you to a locked cabinet. The others won't be noted on the map but when you see a locked cabinet there is always a flying key floating close by. Remember the location of the cabinet, go investigate the area, find the flying key and even when you lose it out of sight just run back to where the cabinet was and the key will always always pop over there. So you don't really have to follow it if you know the cabinet's location. Another pro tip for when you have trouble finding the key itself is to listen while entering an area. Usually the key will make this high pitched sound. After hearing this, you know for sure that there is a key floating around. You can also cast Revelio to spot the location of the key, which will light up blue as it will fly in place at first to make it even easier to spot it. Then when interacting with the cabinet, you have to play a mini game where you need to slap the key onto the lock as soon as it passes it. When you are successful, you will receive a house token. Bring this back to Nelly and she will tell you to insert it in your house chest. You can find this chest in the common room of your chosen house. In this example, we follow Ravenclaw, which you can find over over here near the flu flame. There are 16 house tokens to gather in total to complete the chest, three of which are behind a locked door that requires the Aloomora spell to open. So you will need to follow the main quest for a while and after the game season turns to fall you can complete the first quest from Gladwin Moon to open locks with the spell. Now getting all the 16 keys can be quite a handful as we already mentioned that the locations won't just pop up on your map like when you started the quest. You see the names of the first 12 flag locations that are close to the cabinet with next to it the flue flame that you need to select in order to get to that fast travel point. So you can pause this screen to see them and then for example go to the bell tower wing to reach the bell tower courtyard. The three final ones can be found in the south wing of Hogwarts Castle by going to the faculty tower flu flame and entering the restricted area over here on the map which you unlock during Gladwin Moon's Aloomora main quest. We also left the video guide in the video description for if you still have trouble and of course if you found any other amazing cosmetic items in the game totally let us know in the comments. Subscribe to not miss any of our spoiler free Hogwarts Legacy tips and tricks videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one and you can watch our previous video on some awesome items you can get early. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one, goodbye!